Hey, have you ever broken your website and now you have a white screen of death? I'm going to tell you how to get it fixed. Hey, if you've ever been working on your WordPress website, maybe tinkering around in those PHP files and you made a mistake and accidentally killed it, and now when you go back to look at the front side of your website, it's the white screen of death? Yeah, you know, it'll happen to the best of us. I'm going to teach you how to fix it. Let's go. So if you're messing around with your website and it's supposed to look like this, but all of a sudden you click save inside of a functions file or something and your screen goes to this, you know my pain right now. And you also know that if you're trying to log back in your website after that happens and you go and you click WP admin and you're trying to get back in, that's never going to happen because your functions file is extremely sensitive. I'm pretty sure it's a woman. It's very, very sensitive, all right? We are. And any tinkering around inside there where you're messing around and you accidentally forget a comma or a semicolon or in a curly bracket could completely jack up the whole file, all right? So if that happens, here we go. This is the fix. Um, a little intimidating, I know, but just stay with me. And if you need to, pause this video, walk through this. You need to know where your website is being hosted. Because now we can't get into the dashboard area. The only means of access to this website here on out is now FTP. So we've got to go into your file manager, all right? This particular uh, staging site is just being hosted temporarily over on GoDaddy. So we got in here, went to our upload files area. This is our file manager. Depending upon what sort of hosting company you're using, this is going to look a little different, but ultimately the same concept. You should have all your folders and be able to drill down into the path that I'm about to show you, okay? So you want to go into your website. This is our, our uh, website here that we're playing around with. We want to open up that little plus sign and drill down into WP content, okay? Open up that little plus sign and we want to go into the themes area. Now you should have, uh, you know, a couple of themes. I don't want to see five or more. That's unrealistic. You're only ever using one, right? Maybe a child theme sitting in here. And you want to always have maybe one or two as a total backup in case this does happen and this break takes place. Um, but Blogma is our active theme right now. We know that. So this is the theme that that functions file that I was tinkering with is now jacked up, right? So I need to have, I should have, if I was smart, I would have backed up that functions file before I started tinkering with it, right? If you've watched my tutorials enough, you know I tell you back up, back up, back up. So, or if you're in my classes, we sing back, back, back it up. All right. Sorry, it's the beanie today. Um, and it's way too early in the morning. So Blogma, here we go. We've got to get into that and fix the functions file. So I suggest going back to, if you did not save a backup, shame on you, but if you did not, lesson learned today, go back to your original place of purchase, download that zipped file again, right? Because we want that original functions file. You're going to get a folder, you're going to open it up, and you're going to drill in, and here we go. Here's our functions PHP. All I need to do is drag that over and uh, drop it into my... Hang on a second. I want to drag this over. Uh, we're going to drill drill down into Blogma here. Open up Blogma. Here we go. This is the file right here that we want to overwrite. So I'm just going to grab this new functions and I'm going to drop it in and it is going to overwrite my existing mistake. No, you did not lose any of your content. It is all still sitting here. If you go back to the front side of your website, it now looks like this again. Everything's still sitting there, so don't panic. Take a deep breath. You're good. This is the quick fix. I hope that helps. So again, I know that that was a lot, and I know that you're diving into some areas that you're probably not used to, but just remember the basics. Always, always, always back up your website before you go crazy tinkering inside of your PHP files, or just give us a call up here at Webtegrity and we'll help you out. So you can either give us a shout out on Twitter, send us an email, or even pop over, come say hi if you're in the San Antonio area. If not, be sure to check out for a meetup group in your local city. We'll catch you next time on WordPress Wednesday. Bye bye y'all. Hey everybody. Videos are a great resource for learning, but there's nothing better than learning in person from WordPress experts. We offer a beginner's course and an advanced track that can teach you everything you want to know about WordPress. Our classes start soon, so head over to webtegrity.com and register today.